look at him. Look at him. He tried to look a little cute. He 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 looking a little pretty right now. He wants that other man to play with his butt. Why do you act like that? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a very special video because uh you see we're going to jail. I beg you. Wait, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay, CJ. I know we both black. Fuck it! But, but you're not taking me down with you, boy. Listen. Listen, listen. I'm not going to jail. I wouldn't survive in jail. I know for a fact my ass would not survive in jail. Like literally, my ass would not survive in jail. Make sure you like the video right now because I know you're gonna enjoy it. Like it right now, please and thank you. Nigga, actually, not even jail. We going to maximum security prison. Cause our boy Baki done got- You know what's crazy about maximum security prisons, prisons, bro? They're not maximum security on your cheeks. They are, it, it's getting pumped. <sighs> your cheeks are getting pumped and filled. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Arizona State Prison. Cause okay, goddamn, wow. this place reeks of Black Air Force. Energy. He has a Glock on him. These are the definition of built different. But ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and relax as we dive into the. CJ, Arizona. your nose is gargantuan. The width of your nose is absolutely ridiculous. This man is sniffing up all types of herbs when he walks in the forest, man. He's sniffing up snakes and snails and all the above when he's walking through a forest. Golly. Arizona State Prison, as we will observe, pure ignorance, nigga. Like that, nigga. Oh, they, oh, and the oh, that's not racist? Hands on this special programming of. All right, y'all. So before we get into the prison, we gotta understand uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place. Facts. I thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he gonna end up just like his father. Speaking of his father, at the beginning of the season, there's a press conference going on because the African army was fighting a ginormous, oversized African elephant Jesus that was Christ. terrorizing the entire savanna. And this guy right here is the sole survivor. So these reporters are wondering, okay, bro, you're the sole survivor. So how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing? And this nigga's like, shit, it wasn't us. It was a nigga that killed that shit. A man in all black. Why is his cheek so tight on the screen? Oh, it stinks. Nice and good. It's so thick too. Like he has some thick ass cheeks on the screen. Appear and killed that fat ass oversized elephant with his bare hands. At this point, this reminds me of the elephant from One Piece. Shit. What's his Look, name? I don't know what this man Yujiro is. I don't is remember. At this point. Now he's out here killing oversized African elephants, and then he ate the nigga! This man deadass just ate a whole ass year's worth of protein! And then look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us to believe this? Bitch, you better believe it before he come for your ass next! Oh. So then dude gets up and he's like, look, I stated the facts, I'm done talking to y'all niggas. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. If I was in his situation, I would do the same damn thing. Like, if I saw a nigga kill an African elephant with his bare hands, what the fuck am I supposed to tell you? Yeah, man, I saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands. You gonna look at me like this nigga dumb? Oh, this is this movie a banger, man. What was it called? Golden Ticket? I know you're mentally ill. Shit, I believe anything. So now we cut to this little kid getting bullied and they're like, hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find. So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high schoolers at all. Like Jesus Christ. Nah, they, they look grown. like they at least pushing 33. So then his they're little grown. flimsy ass pulls out the shank it, and then they just start laughing at the nigga. So then he's trying to talk to him, but they like, say it with your chest, nigga. So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like, <laughs> please, please, so don't the strongest guy so they like oh you looking for that big nigga so then they cut outside to the kids and the how kids did you how did you get boy into this said, like look at this mikey kids, wannabe kids just thinking he could just beat up anybody see that's what it is you don't hang out with the wrong people it's called polar express i was close hey, all right bro they said after school i gotta go to the tama river big homie said they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world to you just don't be a bitch and of course these little badass baby ass kids laughing and shit oh but they ain't gonna be laughing soon so they go to the river and there he is son to the biggest menace on planet okay i'm not gonna lie to him bro he pulled up he looked cool as fuck <laughs> i'm not gonna lie this is the only time i've looked so at baki the, river the only time i've looked son at baki and i'm like he's cool this this, this shot is cold as hell you wanna know what's cold yeah. That though, you see this hill? I know y'all don't think it, y'all not thinking about it right now, but let me let me show y'all, let me show y'all what this hill really is. Yeah, yeah, y'all don't remember episode one. <laughs> they copy and pasted the hill from Beyblade. I get tired of these shows 
stealing shit, man. Yes, son to the biggest menace on planet Earth. And look at them little badass kids running like some bitches. So then little homie pull out the knife and Baki like, so you gonna use that small ass knife? I bet I ain't holding back then. This man is dead serious, ready to run the ones with a child. And look at little homie, he like, oh my God, this nigga's dead serious. This nigga's dead serious. I ain't going home to mama today. How tall? This nigga is three inches tall. So then Baki asks him, can you swim? And he's like, uh, a little. Then Baki's like, Bet. So bro flash steps and smacks the living Christ. Oh my Did god. He smacks his, he smacks his butt. His oh my god. Ass. Oh! <laughs> and made bro skip on water. No, that was he dang really it. hit that kid with full force. So then Baki befriends the kid. Imagine walking around and you just have another man's ass print on your ass. I mean handprint on your ass. But then Yujiro's personal chauffeur Stridum comes out of nowhere. And he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size of a dinosaur, right? So that means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are gonna go at it for round two. Hopefully you don't go like round one. Yeah. So Stridum's like, all right, how you gonna respond? And Baki just starts yawning. He's like, it's all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. But Stridum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's like, all right, bro. I gotta so look, confirmed, confirmed. Baki, Baki and Yujiro or whatever are country level. Nothing more. You know what that means? Deku soloing. I'm out. 1v2, Deku has it. You're a liar. Ghost of Mike. Tyson and he's taking Yo, what the f what the, the fuck is happening is going right, now? On right now bro what is the fighting fuck? the ghost of mike tyson and is taking damage oh but now nah, we didn't think he could get even crazier right this man starts fighting a plane mantis what in the fuck he's fighting oh no, back to Kung, Kung Fu. Panda. that's what i just said this man is literally reading the script in my mind I, I, I just don't question anything anymore in the show. So now we cut to America and they got this parade going on and we got President George Bush. Bosch? Ba B Bosch. Yo, this nigga Bush. So while the parade is going on, they end up losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. Cause this man Baki just straight snatched that nigga. What? God damn, Secret Service, y'all niggas ass. How the f you could basically let a damn child take the Get present shit and won't see my ass running for goddamn uh, president anytime soon if this is my goddamn secret service. So Baki ends up having tea with this nigga. What? And Bush like, uh, you realize that you just kidnapped the president of the US of A, my nigga, right? And Baki like, hell yeah, I know. Shit, I meant to get caught. So Bush asks, what is so, Baki's like, demand? Yo, Baki has me so confused watching this man. Cause it just seemed like Baki everywhere. Like, like there was no, it seems like Baki does not have a straight path of what's going on. It's just, it's a, it's a mess. It's a mess. That's what it looks this like. Man Baki says, the U.S. Arizona State Prison? Yeah, lock me up, nigga. What? Is this nigga serious? And this man Bush like, wait, wait, wait. You kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga Biscuit and you don't want no money or no bitches? He's the weakest ass demands I've ever heard. Yo, this man Baki is really taking training guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time check. Wait, hold on. He, he tried to look cute. Really he tried to look cute. To look at him. Level. Look at him. He tried to look a little cute. He, he, he looking a little pretty right now. He wants that other man to play with his butt. Why do you act like that? That is the I want him to play with my butt look. You can't convince me otherwise. Because because I know that look. Huh? Been there. Done that. What do you mean by that? This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga, I'm going to prison. So our boy Baki gets arrested. He gets locked up. The nigga's guilty. That nigga is guilty! And he gets incarcerated into the Arizona State Prison. So Baki goes into the warden's office and speaks with the warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga Biscuit, Mr. Unchained. And the reason this man is like, just look at this man, bro. This is this is what turns me away from Baki. I can't look at this and take this show seriously, bro. He has testicles as abs. His lower belly button is a mouth. That chin crimson. The nigga chin. Unchained is because he no can nipples either. The prison whenever the hell he wants to. So basically, this whole place is his house. And yo, look at the treatment this nigga is getting in prison. I mean, what? look at this big motherfucker. He almost broke the chair. 
So Baki wants to run. That nigga has a thick ass neck. I mean, look at this big mother. He almost broke the. Who is that? Who is that guy who got famous for just having a thick neck? That's him. Oh my God! You could grind meat on it. That's him in anime. You into nipples? No, I'm just I'm into accuracy of the human anatomy. Well, that's bullshit. Chair. So Baki wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the. 471. CJ, you said 471? Explain. I'm not gonna lie to you, CJ. I won't be on your ass if the subtitles weren't right there. And <laughs> hey, hey, you put the video together. I won't be on your ass. But I'm on your ass. 471, CJ? The zero just disappeared, my boy? <laughs> Another niggas that wanna run the hands with me. Nigga, you just a rookie. But Baki decides, you know what? the ranking system, nigga. I just wanna throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the face, but- I know he ate it. <laughs> He ate that shit. For I know he ate it. Nigga. Look at him, relax, young blood. Who is Don't biscuit? Catch me with uh, that weak shit. Inspired so by. Gets sent to a cell, and apparently the second strongest person in the prison is in that same cell. So as he enters the cell, he sees his first cellmate, and it's Iron Michael. Oh my God, nigga, that's Mike Tyson. So Baki asks. It's disrespectful, he meant Mike Tyson, the second strongest nigga. That's disrespectful that they made him second. They could have made him first. It's Mike, hey yo, I know you gotta be number two, nigga. You Mike Tyson. But this man Mike says, nah, I ain't even in the top. Okay, man. that's disrespectful. That's beyond disrespectful. Right, hold up, wait a damn minute. Come so, on, man. Uh, uh, this nigga Mike Tyson ain't even okay. there's fucking fiends. You got locked up in this bitch. Nigga, what the fuck is this? Arkham? Who y'all got locked up here? Clayface, Killer Croc, nigga Bane down there or some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary confinement. So then they wake up next morning and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga. Is that Jesus? Like seven, seven. And Baki thinks that, okay, this gotta be number two. But nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, hey, yo, second, wake the fuck up. So Check this out. nigga comes out the casket like Vincent Valentine. And he's like, hey, yo, what's That looks just like Baki. That literally looks like him. That's literally Baki aged up. They copy and pasted the way Baki yeah, looks. And I'm like, did this nigga just come out the locker? No, no, no. They are the same person. The He's just 10 years older. What? Oh, nah, this man different. So then Baki asked him, hey, yo, why you sleep in the broom closet? And this man says, I'm a warrior. Hey, that don't even make sense. No See? Boy. boy, ain't no way, boy. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, that I want y'all to really think really hard about this. This nigga is in prison. If they said this was Baki's dad, I believe it. He looks more like Baki's dad than Baki's dad does. And Baki's dad don't, Baki look nothing like his dad. That I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? No. I tell him like this here. I like you. And I want you. Oh shit. Now we can do this the easy way. Uh huh. Or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. I'm a warrior too. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no fucking way this shit is actually happening Wait, right now. Wait, what? I'm not gonna this lie to you. I have no clue the fuck that is. It's a booty warrior. I know, I know the Boondocks character. I don't know who this, who is that? Like, was they, they the same person? Is that what I'm hearing? Like, they're the same person, the Boondocks character? Okay, got it. Gavar is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man, smoking a whole cig while he's giving a whole debrief. So, so why are you in prison? Like, this Mike, is stupid. Hey, yo, what's for breakfast? And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets sucked by the police off Bro, he dead ass made this man get sucked. Because Gavar would have beat his ass if he didn't say shit. So he just went ahead and just took the beating from the CEO. That's disrespectful oh to gosh, Mike. Bro, that is so fucked. That's so disrespectful so yeah, to Gavar, Mike. Gavar, a.k.a. the second coming of the booty warrior, is a different breed of human. Like, bro, what is he doing to this spoon right now? So this big oh. man tried to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. And look how disrespectful this is. He grabs the officer's gun. Puts it in his hands and he's like, all right, hold on tight. Make sure to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right before he pulled the trigger, he cocks dude in his balls. Oh, my, oh my God. God. And, and that nigga's. Oh, my God. Oh, my balls hurt. Why did he do that? Why? That was so unnecessary. Oh, my goodness. Decommissioned. So after he kicked the dude in the dick, he's like, hey, yo, guards, uh, I want an after school exercise with this nigga. So they have a sumo match. In you said Biscuit Oliver was inspired by Mr. Olympia, Sir Sergo Olivia. Who is that? 
Okay, okay. Bro, this man can't even pick him up. So then he grabs a piece of his hair, sticks it in his ear, and it literally killed his eardrums. So dude what? fell over and it was wraps. So after Guevara leaves the office and comes over to Big Boy and he's like, hey, yo, uh, why are you up in here alone? I know you see that sign, you blind motherfucker. So then he pops dude in the back of the head. God. Damn, That's not even the most crazy part. They have a full basketball court in here. This thing looks crazy. This is literally like my high school basketball court. I see why they say school's like a prison, because this is a copy and paste. Yeah, I, I warned him. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. So Guevara comes back to the lunchroom, and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries to talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But he ate that shit and grabbed his baton. Ayo. This nigga does the same shit he did with the spoon. He's such a yo. He wants to be with, like his dad so bad, bro. Like father, like from son. From shit talking university, boy got the shit talk. Shit talk, no me. So Baki gets put in solitary confinement in this very uncomfortable position. Jesus Christ! I can feel his what the fuck? Shoulder from here. What the fuck? A little bit of Guevara's backstory, and apparently this man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cabinet. Goddamn Secret Service, you've done it oh, again. Oh, that's the man dude smashing Bush's wife. On the TV, and is this nigga at his house? Oh, so this oh, was the person in the front. Kids. So they're both like Baki's dad. Baki's both dads. Baki, huh? Yo, they're the same. The same. They just, they just be fucking. Disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. But hey, yo, for real though, this gotta be like the biggest cuck move in like anime history. Besides, well, you know, you know what scene I'm talking about. But we ain't talking about that shit here today. That shit is forbidden. But yeah, this man beat the. Fuck out of his entire that was, uh, that was bizarre. and took a whole tour of his house. Uh, that's uh, bro, crazy. That, 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 that's one of the most disrespectful moments I've ever seen. So later on, the warden is talking about taking out Mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison. So wow, he, so y'all taking out Mike but not Biscuit? What is wrong with y'all, man? The creator, bro. Why are y'all hating on Mike like this? Gets I don't get these it. Triplet looking niggas caught the mouth. Once those are not so niggas. He gets these. Though that's that's that, that's a, that's a that's a woman. I mean a man. Bro, those lips are women made. Caught the mouth. One's named the lip. That those are gross. I you're not. I can't. What? The tooth in the tongue. What in the hell is this? These Oompa Loompa ass niggas in unison and shit? Oh hell no, nah, bro. So they bring Mike outside and they start jumping this nigga in unison. I've never seen motherfuckers jump a okay, nigga I so guess precisely. Man. So get then they up, put Mike up, in a quarter and gee, Jesus. Why are they doing Mike so dirty? God damn. Out. Oh my gosh, bro. This might be the most brutal jumping in anime history. And that man is gone, bro. But right before they about to slice his ass up, this man Guevara comes out of nowhere, rolling out like Samus in morph ball form. So three Oompa Loompa surround his ass, but then he whips out his dick and starts pissing on him. Oh. What is wrong with him? Why does he look like he's excited? He likes getting peed on. Look at him, that's excitement on his face. Look at him. Yo, this nigga really just whipped that's, out that, his <laughs> I Hold on, I just have the process. He just peed on a nigga, bro. <laughs> he just... <laughs> I could not imagine what I would do if a nigga pulled up out of nowhere and just peed on me. I don't know how I would handle that. I don't know if I would be able to think straight. I'd just be in shock. I would probably be froze. I'd be froze because I'm like, there is no way you just went dangling out and just spish all over me. Ain't no way. He and took a piss on him. Motherfucker like I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. But dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean type shit. This nigga had a whole transformation. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Send his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. And the other nigga pissed his pants 
He got the step in it, yo! <laughs> yo, that was a crazy amount of pee, too. That was a crazy amount of pee. His bladder just broke. Yo, his water broke type shit. He about that. I told you they were women. He's about to have his kid. <laughs> yo, this nigga pissed his pants! And then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, G, I'm done. So later on, back at the cell while they're chatting it up, this big nigga biscuit Busts up in the damn room and he's like, hey, yo, Gavar, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his Move shit. Your damn. So then yeah, Biscuit fuck. pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine-ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man from far spits on that shit. <laughs> yeah, this man is so damn disrespectful. I bet you his girl ugly as fuck. And I bet you that handkerchief was the last thing his girlfriend, like, used to wipe her shit off, bro. So before the fight, we get to see what Biscuit's girl looks like. Well, just some Ugly. shadows of her. And we don't get to shit. see much, but she has a very nasty-ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him. She threw the whole bottle of crown at that nigga. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all, yo. This man Biscuit is a savage, but... Yo, this man is down bad horrendous. Now it's a day of You know how upset Dr. Umar would be with this man? Coon chip. Dr. Umar would be, he wouldn't be on his ass. Dr. Umar would be too scared. I don't blame him. I would be too scared too. I'm not saying a word to him. To watch this. The number one and number two are about to throw down. So them biscuits coming out with this big Cast ass it? bed and everybody's uh -oh. like, hey, yo, no way. This could actually be her. We actually get to see what she looked like. Even the one is like, hey, yo, no way. He actually brought her out. So we all thinking, all right, y'all, she got to be fine as hell. She got to be ugly. the baddest chick I know she ugly. I already called uh. it. She overweight. I s what is up with this show and punking black people, bro? Why, why are they doing us like this? They punk Mike Tyson. They sit here and say black men love fat white women. Because we already know that's a stereotype. And and this black guy's about to lose his fight. I promise you he's about to lose his fight. He's about to get his shit destroyed too. I know he is. They don't like us. What in the fuck? Ain't, ain't, ain't no goddamn my mind must be deceiving me right now. Ain't no way she looks absolutely disgusting. My 600 pound life rotisserie ass chicken. Oh my god. She looks like a turkey. The bitch, it's the bed. She, be the she, biggest, she looks like a turkey. We need to cut her open. I, I've ever seen in an anime. Hey, but we could bash this nigga biscuit all we want. We could call him a big ass simp, ultra simp. But hey, hey, who gonna check that nigga though? <laughs> Not me. I mean, look at dude. He busted out of his tuxedo and it's still standing there. <laughs> that mound of a. Beluga. She probably no, eat that myself. shit too. Stop myself. So how this fight is gonna work is shit. you have to keep your hand on the cloth, and the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses. This Loki is the weirdest way to throw down, but fuck it, I'm all here for it. So the ball oh, socks him, but yo, this man is gripping the cloth with his pinky and his thumb. This might be the craziest grip. His hands look like seen. a monkey's so hand. continues to tee off on this kid, but then he grabs his oh, yeah. head. Black man, please ground. win. Oh, Baki's watching this. He's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and starts sleeping with her. Oh my god. Is this nigga crazy? Oh my god. He's actually crazy. Oh, no, Baki's a G. I wouldn't do that. Not even because that's Biscuit's girl, but because because that's disgusting. But the fact that Baki would go that far is mind blowing. That's amazing. Yo, you know how flaccid Baki is right now? I know his dick is beyond soft. I, I would feel disgusting laying on that. Man, use the bed on top of the bed. So they just lose a handkerchief after that. So this man is so pissed off. He whacks this nigga so far. He cracks into the Damn. wall. And everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga is dead. But we all know Guevara has like he some ate that zombie shit, mode. No, the man's ate a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So now they start for real swinging. Oh, he's so he getting fucked up. Like flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there and, and this nigga. So the black man lost? In one punch? I'm 
I'm, I'm Future serious. was here, and everybody's laughing. So he's like, "Wait I'm a serious. minute, something's wrong." And all that shit that just played out, yeah, was a dream. Cause that nigga got knocked up. Nigga yes! shit is as straight as a board. Yes. Everybody's like, damn. He really just violated that. Go, nigga. black so man. He picks up his mattress and takes off. So as we cut away from the prison for a bit. Wait, so gonna... was Baki sleeping on his wife fake too? Because ain't no way Baki got away from that scotch free. Ain't driving, no way. But yo, you like, wait fake. a minute. Why is the president driving? And then you see this nigga, Yujiro, is in the back in seat. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, this nigga dead ass made the president his butler. So after the fight, the second coming of the booty warrior just left. So yeah, this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch. Oh, he so got now scared. We go to the next morning, and it's time for roll call. And while the CEO is talking, this man Baki says, "Uh, excuse me, uh, can I go take a step outside?" And everybody like, I know this nigga is not talking right now. But Baki said, "Fuck it." So fuck that nigga. Oh, the dude is staging a whole prison break. Man is out here dodging bullets. Okay, so he has instant transmission. Like this is ridiculous. So Baki gets outside, but he's surrounded. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bruh, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in a flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards. You know where they stole that from? They stole that. They stole that straight from SpongeBob. Straight from SpongeBob. Wanna see me run to that mountain and back? You wanna see me do it again? Oh my god. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. It's not a reach. It's so obvious. Surrounding them, holding them up at gunfight. So obvious. Yeah, he took their buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So we tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out, and right as he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> Dog, that is embarrassing. He had six niggas holding him up at gunpoint and made them all what his the bitch hell? and straight up walked out the prison. So then Biscuit pulls up and dude is actually Here offended we go. by this. So dude tells the warden to take off his cuss because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But then, yo, this man Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, grab some food and try again damn yo so is baki really that raw because he's talking crazy i know his dad's raw but he's talking like, young hey, crazy yo this nigga did not just say that shit and yo this man is pissed he's like i know this little nigga's not talking all this shit right his now. veins so are crazy that, they made me feel uncomfortable he gets thrown in solitary confinement so while he's in solitary confinement biscuit comes in his cell starts talking shit to him then he whips out his <laughs> shit and pisses on him Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yo, what is up with niggas pissing on niggas? Pause! That might be one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. He took a whole leak on that nigga. But after that, Baki just starts <laughs> laughing at his ass. He like, damn. Oh, the piss is going on in his mouth. He's gonna get an AIDS. He's gonna get pink eye. That's disgusting. I'm not gonna lie to you, Baki. Like, I understand, like, eating a punch is cool. Like, getting punched and, you know, eating is cool. Eating piss is not cool, Baki. You can move. Damn, nigga, you a bitch. You got to piss on a nigga that's chained up? Damn, that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit comes back to Wasella. He's like, all right, we going to fight in two weeks. But Baki's like, nah, fuck that. We fighting right here, right now. He just kicks dude in his face. Damn. So Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the f*** out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass But ball. But his so arms. Then he busts out the tuxedo. He's like, What about his know, fingers, though? This is not fair. Ass. So Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. And then gets slung. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Him through like five other cells. Then dog is just beating the hell out of him. Yo, this man is holding him like a toy and just eating all that, bro. And just threw him like a rag doll across the floor. You got but then you on, see Baki. Baki spring up and there it is. What that the damn fuck? demon back. And that's when Biscuit knew. That plot armor about to kick it real nice. So he <laughs> ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So then Biscuit decided to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas mimicking Samus in this? So what the Baki fuck is this? A punch, but he blocks it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type shit. So then he spits him out and then tries to do it again. But Baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose. And my nose, my nose, my nose. 
my nose, my nose, my nose. Oh, it's having the nosebleed of a lifetime. So then they face off and Baki's just ready to throw their hands at this point. Straight up one-on-one -on -one fist fight, no holds barred. So they just start blasting, going for punch for punch. Over and These over These punches and over. look ridiculous. But Baki ends up pushing him back in the nigga drop. Damn, he really did that shit. Bro knocked him out cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Bro, his girlfriend can ass. stand? So Biscuit, at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. What now, I don't know who is exactly this? this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pickle! <gasps> yeah, that was Baki B. That looks stupid. Him being stuck in ice looks just looks dumb. 